Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. And this short video is going to detail how to generate a sequence of uniformly distributed random numbers. Maybe I should spell that again, yeah? Uniformly distributed random numbers uh, in Excel. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to use a data analysis tool pack to generate uh, this sequence of random numbers. Okay? Now the important thing here to keep in mind is that what we're going to generate is a sequence of uniformly distributed random numbers. What that basically means is this, is that we're going to provide a range of numbers. We're going to provide a lower bound, let's say 10, an upper bound, let's say 20. And what we'd like Excel to do is to generate a sequence of numbers, let's say let's say 23 numbers, uh, bet between 10 and 20, uh, where each particular outcome is as likely to happen as any other outcome within that range. In other words, that the probability of generating a particular number is going to be the same right across that particular range of values. In other words, we're going to generate numbers based off a uniform distribution, which means that each number is as equally likely to occur as any other number in the range. Okay. Now, uh, I'm using Excel 2016 here on the MacBook Air. Uh, Excel 2016 on the MacBook Air is the only package, it's, it's the only version of Excel that actually comes, comes with the data analysis tool pack. Uh, if you're using Excel on Windows, it doesn't matter which version of Excel you're using on Windows, they all come packaged with the data analysis tool pack. Uh, so in this particular case here, we want to generate uniformly distributed random numbers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the data ribbon. You can see all the ribbons are listed across here. I'm going to choose a data ribbon. My data analysis tool pack is already turned on. It's over here on the right hand side. Okay. And what I'm going to choose is I'm going to choose data analysis tool pack. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose, uh, well, by I actually have it already selected here, but there's many different options that we could choose. But I'm going to choose a uh, random number generation. So I'm going to choose random number generation. Let me just get rid of these particular values here, because I'm going to talk through these now in a second. Okay, let me get rid of these values. Okay, uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to fill in all of the details required in all of the fields here for this random number generation generator. Uh, but let's say before we actually fill in the fields, you can actually see that there's an option here called distribution, which allows us to select from a, a set or a selection of predefined distributions that we could generate our numbers from. And you can see we could generate uniformly distributed random numbers. We could generate random numbers that are based off a normal distribution that has a, spe a specific mean and has a specific standard deviation. Uh, we could generate Bernoulli uh, random numbers, binomial random numbers, numbers based off of Poisson distribution, numbers uh, that follow a particular pattern, or we could even generate a list of discrete random numbers where each number, each discrete number has a different probability of occurring uh, compared to other numbers. But what we're going to concentrate on in this video is uniformly generated random numbers. That means that every number is as equally likely to occur as any other number. Okay, so I'm going to click uniform. And then what we need to do is we need to specify how many variables, how many lists of random numbers would I like to generate? How many variables is what we call it in, in, in statistics. So in this particular instance, I'm going to generate one single list of random numbers. How many random numbers would I like to generate? I'd like to generate, let's say for argument, say 23. I want them to follow a uniform distribution. Okay. And where would we like our random numbers to be generated between? Okay, like for example, what interval would we like to choose the random numbers from? And let's say for argument's sake, actually let me choose, let's say I want to choose, let's say 65, from 65 let's say up to 87. That's just an example, you could change your lower bound and your upper bound to be anything at all, okay? Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to generate one list of random numbers, there's going to be 23 numbers in the list. They're all going to be as equally likely to occur as any other number in the list. Okay, And we're going to select between 65 and 87. In other words, the numbers that are generated should be between 65 and 87. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to specify the output range and the output range to be somewhere in this sheet. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just select here and I'm going to hit OK. And actually what you can actually see here is that I have a list of random numbers. I actually have, you can see down here, I have 23 random numbers. Okay. Now, uh, the random number generator clearly has generated random numbers that are real numbers and they're not discrete. We could actually change these into discrete numbers by actually rounding these particular values. So, for example, if I round this particular value here to zero decimal places, I'd get the number 81. 
If I round the disk to zero decimal places, I get the number 73. If I round the disk to zero decimal places, I'd get the number 70. So we can convert these into a discrete set of uniformly distributed random numbers by simply using the round, the round function within Excel. So I could say this is equal to round, okay? Uh, I can choose this number here, followed by let's say zero decimal places, and I can hit return on that, and what I get here is 81, okay? Uh, and I can apply that all the way down this particular data set, and actually what we now have is we have a, a list of discrete random numbers where each number is as equally likely to occur as any other number. In other words, they've been generated from a uniform distribution. Okay, guys, uh, I hope this video was somewhat in some, in some way intuitive and explained how to, re how to generate random numbers within, within Excel. The next video is going to deal with how to generate a set of normally distributed random numbers, so maybe you can actually keep an eye out for that video. So once again, guys, this was Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland, and I hope this video uh, was somewhat helpful and intuitive. So thank you.